Uh, did you know that heart disease claims the lives of more than more women in the U.S. than all forms of cancer? But fewer than half of women realize how big of a threat cardiovascular disease poses to their health, making matters even worse for doctors often treat women patients differently than men. Here with the latest research and tips to help manage their cholesterol is cardiologist and medical expert Dr. Pyle Coley. Hi, doctor. Hi there. How are you do? How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. No problem. So can you describe the cholesterol crisis and you know how many people have high cholesterol? It's a number that we don't really talk about enough. You know, I'm so glad you called it a crisis because that's exactly what it is. We know that cholesterol is poison for our arteries. And yet we have millions and millions of Americans walking around with elevated cholesterol. And I'm not talking off the charts elevated. I'm talking even mild to moderately elevated cholesterol, the kind where you tell your doctor, oh, I'll just work on diet. We can talk about it in six months or a year. But think about it. If that poison is a little bit elevated, but for many, many years, it keeps doing its damage. It keeps sticking to the walls of the arteries over the course of many years, clogging up those arteries, and then later in your life can increase your chance of having a heart attack or stroke. So that's why this is a crisis, because we have the tools to prevent heart disease. We know how to prevent heart disease, getting that cholesterol down, and yet many of us remain untreated. Yeah, and you know, we touched on it briefly, but Tell me, what's the difference in how doctors are diagnosing and treating cardiovascular disease in women versus men? You know, you and I, a decade or two decades ago, wouldn't have been thought to be at risk for having heart disease because we used to think that heart disease is an old man's disease. That's who we look for it in, that's who we study it in, that's who we screen, and that's who we treat. But now we're really realizing that women actually die from heart disease as a number one killer and more than all cancer deaths combined. And so we need to do better for our women. We need to look not just for the regular risk factors, the high blood pressure, the high cholesterol, the diabetes, the usual stuff, but also female specific risk factors because you know we have estrogen in our bodies and that estrogen can have effects on how sticky the blood vessels get, how much inflammation we have. So when we start our menopause, when we started our period, how we carried our pregnancies, did anything bad happen to us during our pregnancies like high blood pressure or high sugar? Because that could all portend risk of heart disease down the line. So we need to look at these female specific risk factors when we're thinking about risk in women. And we need to recognize that, you know, men block up the highways, the, the large blood vessels in the heart. Women can actually block up not just the highways, but also the side roads, the small blood vessels in the heart. And that can often be more difficult to diagnose because our imaging tests are not as good at picking up those small blockages. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that because my, my next class lesson or question was going to be why are women more reluctant to take cholesterol lowering medication or if they are, you know? Yeah, well, I would say, you know, reluctant is a little bit of a misnomer because there are some women, obviously, of childbearing age. So when you're in your 20s or 30s, you might be concerned about any medication because you think you might want to carry a pregnancy. Having said that, I have plenty of 20 and 30 year olds in my practice who have high risk or high cholesterol who I'm treating with cholesterol lowering medicines. And we're just planning their pregnancy around the treatment so we can interrupt the statin therapy, the treatment, if we need to. That's but there's so a whole class of women. Yeah, there's a whole class of women who are not so reluctant, but they just don't have an option. They're yeah. literally stuck between a rock and a hard place because they can't actually tolerate the medicine, the statin medicine. They get side effects from it. And so we just can't reduce their risk until now. So we haven't had a lot of options for treating these women. We've sort of turned our back on them because we don't know how to reduce their risk. Well, you know, but now I, we do have some new options. I love hearing that you are taking the steps to just work with them and we don't have to just totally throw it out the window. There are ways to work around it. Doctor, I have to thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Thanks so much for having me. And know your numbers and know your risks.